Yo, what is up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 gaming peripherals for console gaming and PC gaming. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I upload daily Black Ops 3 content, plus I have a ton of other videos, Advanced Warfare, Ghost, Black Ops 2, whatever you like, I have it. So let's get right into this. Our number 5 is a play and charge kit. And this is probably one of the most important tools that you could ever have for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, and PlayStation 4. Now, I'm going to hesitate to say PS3 and PS4 needs one. I'm under the impression that you can just plug up a cable and it works, but I'm not sure. Maybe you do have to buy it. Like I said, I'm not a PlayStation gamer, so I'm not sure whatsoever but that is so important to have because everyone knows whenever the controller starts to die it is the worst and if you sit anywhere close to a USB socket outlet you can just plug right up and continue gaming or plug it straight into your console for latency free gaming on the Xbox one next is the Xbox two terabyte X L O and the plan charge kit is twenty dollars. I just I want to let you guys know of the price and everything, just so you know what I'm working with here. So the plan charge kit, and this is something I do own. Also, I'm gonna tell you if I own it or if I do not. Our next, like I said, is the Xbox two terabyte external hard drive. This is very important because I can already tell some people are having problems with holding games, especially if you play a ton of games because every single game you play has to be installed to the hard drive and the 500 gigabyte hard drive that most Xboxes come with are not cutting it. So this only cost $100 for two terabytes, which is a ton. And to put it in perspective, the Xbox only comes with 500 gigabytes, two terabytes is 2000 gigabytes. So that is a definitely a good pickup. Next, we're going to move on to sound. Sound is very important. So for the Xbox one, you need to get the elite 800 X's. This is from turtle beach and is the best headset on the market. 100% wireless, wireless game sound, and wireless chat. Now anyone that plays Xbox One knows if you mess up and unplug your microphone or anything like that, it takes forever for you to connect your mic back to be able to talk to people or you just have to hard reset the Xbox. And that exact same headset exists for the PS4, although it's called the Elite 800s, no X on the end, and that costs $300 that is very steep and there are a ton of cheaper alternatives I'm just telling you what the best is and I don't think that uh, what is it called I don't even know what it's called start Astro I don't think Astro is the best just because I it's one of those items that they just publicize and a lot of people hear about it so a lot of people think it is the best next the scuff infinity for the Xbox one or the scuff for PS for the PlayStation 4. Now this price can range. It ranges for one from $111 being the baseline all the way up to 200 plus. You can really really make these controllers your own and with a game like Black Ops 3 you need those paddles on the back. It's very important to have paddles there to be able to maneuver the map, to be able to jump around, not have to move your finger from the thumbstick. You can just go with the flow and this brings us to our number one item, the item that I think everyone needs. This is something that I bought and I've just loved it ever since. In fact, I cannot play on anything else other than this. And it is the BenQ, let me get the model number for you, the RL2460HT. This is a 1080p gaming monitor that has a one millisecond refresh time. And basically what that means is everything on the screen is super smooth. It, it, the screen is refreshing really fast and anything that you see doesn't lag behind. And the best way to see this is whatever monitor or TV that you're playing on, go ahead and hook that up, hook your Xbox up to a 60 or a 70 inch TV and look at the lag on the uh, screen between what you're doing with the controller and what's happening on the screen. It is tremendous and it's almost unplayable. So this comes in at $240 and it is money well spent, especially for you 
YouTubers or streamers that are looking for a way to have latency-free streaming or recording, this is the monitor. It has an HDMI out and two HDMI ins, and basically what the HDMI out does is allow you to hook up your capture card and have a latency-free, you don't have to go from Xbox capture card monitor. That's how every other monitor works in the market, but this, you go straight from your Xbox into the back of the monitor, and then the monitor goes into the capture device, so it is really good. I recommend this monitor to anyone, and out of everything on the list, the two most important, I guess, is the number five, which is the play and charge kit, and number one, the BenQ. I honestly cannot play on anything else. If I play on my TV, I can really notice a difference. And just to put things in perspective again, my computer monitors are five millisecond response times, and I can really, really tell a difference. It is a huge difference between one and five, and especially between a 32 inch. It's just out of this water. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I know I said PC gaming, and the only things that apply to PC gaming are maybe an external hard drive, not necessarily the Xbox one, definitely a headset, and the Scuf Infinity does work on Windows 10, so if you're playing a PC, or on 8.1 also, so if you're playing on 8.1 or 10, Scuf Infinity will work, and obviously the BenQ monitor is the way to go for PC gaming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cannot wait until Black Ops 3 comes up. I upload daily, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.